this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, how do I fight a habitual traffic offender or HTO charge in Florida? The first thing you've got to do is determine your venue. Theoretically, before you're formally designated as an HTO, Florida DMV must give you 30 days notice in writing. If you receive this notice, then you have the right to file for an administrative hearing to challenge your driving record, to demonstrate a legal basis as to why the revocation or designation is not valid, and to seek to avoid the designation altogether. Unfortunately, theory and practice don't always align. And so many times this letter is sent to an old or to a bad address. Other times it can get lost in the mail, and believe it or not, there are times where the disconnect between the court system and DMV is so attenuated that you might not receive this notice until years after the suspension should have gone into effect. In any of these predictable situations, you could easily find yourself being handcuffed and booked into the jail on a felony HTO charge when you were simply stopped for a basic traffic infraction, like speeding or having a broken taillight, and you really had no idea that you were an HTO. If this happens, then your venue is going to be circuit criminal court, where you're going to be facing a third-degree felony charge, punishable by five years in state prison, five years of probation, a $5,000 fine, and a permanent felony conviction. Lack of knowledge is not a defense in court, but there may be things that a skilled and experienced lawyer can do to mitigate the case, such as either seeking to get a prior conviction or two set aside, or get a prior conviction or two broken down to a lesser charge, like no valid driver's license. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.